Hello, my name is Chris Gale. I'm a clinical senior lecturer at Imperial College and a consultant neonatologist at Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. Every year in the United Kingdom, about 5,000 babies are born 10 or more weeks early. Very premature babies like this are at high risk of a really devastating disease called necrotizing enterocolitis. Necrotizing enterocolitis affects the gut of very premature babies and is a very serious disease that in some cases needs surgery and some babies do not survive. We know that this disease is of great concern to parents and it has been voted a key research priority in the area of neonatal research by parents and patients. The WHEAT trial is a randomised control study which aims to look at an approach to preventing necrotizing enterocolitis. The WHEAT trial will look at how babies are fed when they receive a blood transfusion. Very premature babies, so those born 10 or more weeks early, spend a long time in neonatal units and while they're on a neonatal unit these babies will almost always need a blood transfusion at some point. At the moment some doctors think that it may be safer to stop feeds before, during and after the blood transfusion, whereas other doctors in the United Kingdom feel it's actually safer to continue feeding a baby with milk before, during and after they receive a blood transfusion. At the moment we just don't know which of these is better and safer for babies. This is what the WHEAT trial will look at trying to work out. The WHEAT trial is a randomised controlled trial and it will compare both of these different approaches. So it will compare feeding babies, milk feeds before, during and after they have a blood transfusion with the other approach which is pausing the feeds for four hours before, during and after a baby receives a blood transfusion. Both of these practices are currently being carried out in the United Kingdom, so we don't think there are any risks involved with being in the WHEAT trial. All the WHEAT trial will be doing will be assigning at random whether a baby is in one of the two arms, pause or continue feeds. And this means that every baby that takes part in the WHEAT trial will have an equal chance of being in either the pause feeds or continue feeds arm. The WHEAT trial is aiming to be as simple and easy to take part in as we can and this means we're applying a new approach to taking consent from parents called opt-out consent. This means that parents are told about the trial and have every opportunity for their baby not to be part of the trial but they don't actually need to sign a consent form. Information about whether a baby is in the trial or not will be recorded in the baby's electronic health notes. We're also extracting all of the data about babies in the wheat trial from these existing electronic health notes. So there will not be any additional forms for doctors or nurses to fill in for the wheat trial. The wheat trial is being carried out at 18 neonatal units in northwest London and in the Birmingham region. All babies less than 30 weeks gestation at birth will be assigned to either have feeds paused or continued and this approach will be followed until a baby gets to 35 weeks gestational age. Some parents ask whether there's any risks for their baby being involved in the wheat trial and we don't think there are any risks at all because both the pause feeds and continue feeds arms of the trial are currently being carried out at the initial units across the country in the UK. So all babies born in the UK will have one of these two treatments anyway. The only difference in the wheat trial is that the babies will have one of these treatments assigned at random. Another thing parents sometimes ask is about that whether their baby will feel hungry when they have a blood transfusion. We don't actually know when premature babies start to feel hunger, but we do know that babies quite commonly have their feeds stopped, often for quite long periods of time, as part of normal neonatal care. When that happens, babies will have intravenous fluids with sugar or nutrition run so that they don't drop their blood sugars or feel hungry. And in the wheat trial, this same approach will be taken for babies that are in the pores feed arm. This does mean that some babies in the pause feed arm may need an additional drip or cannula. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me talk about the wheat trial today. For more information, please visit the wheat trial website, which is available on the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit Clinical Trials Unit webpage. Thank you.